Hello. Uh, my name is Antonio Ritzilva. I'm co-author of this paper, Monolith Migration Complexity, Tuning Through the Application of uh, Microsoft Patterns. And this is work together with João Francisco Palmeira. Uh, first of all, I'm going to give you a little bit of context in the problem, the problem we have been addressing in our research group for a while, where we try, we look at the problem related with the migration of a monolith to a microservice architecture. Uh, the identification of uh, which microservices. And uh, our focus is on the complexity of the migration. So what is gonna be the effort to migrate each one of the functionalities of the monolith to the microservice architecture? Why is this relevant? Because basically these functionalities execute in the monolith using uh, ACID transactions uh, with uh, provide uh, strict consistency. And so the way you program the business logic is uh, uh, simpler in some way, but uh, when you move to a microservice architecture, the functionality becomes uh, implemented into a set of uh, distributed transactions. And these introduce uh, several problems like uh, eventual consistency, which uh, even may have impact on the behavior of the functionality. So there is gonna be a cost to do this migration in terms of development and in terms of adding the complexity of the system. Uh, but the complexity, not the, not the technology complexity, but the complexity in the business logic, the impact on the, in the business logic. So this work is made, um, is, is, is work that uh, we have done work before on this. And the first one I we're gonna tell you, refer just to provide some context is the, um, uh, a, an approach that uh, does uh, uh, the automatic identification of uh, w w what should be the, the microservices, giving a static analysis of the monolith code. And the, 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 the emphasis here is to reduce the number of uh, distributed, distributed transactions per uh, functionality, okay? So in, 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 the, in the focus of our work. Afterwards, we have done another uh, work where you just um, propose uh, complexity metric to measure uh, these, these complexity. So uh, we should be able to, given to the compositions, show which one is going to be more complex in terms of the migration effort or two functionalities in same, in same the, the composition, which one will be, uh, uh, will require more effort in terms of the migration. The work we are presenting today is leverages on, on top of uh, our previous work, of previous research. And now what we are looking is that, okay, we, are, we, we need to migrate this functionality. And now what, you, what we need to do is to understand how we are going to implement this functionality in the microservices architecture. And basically you have the, the, the saga pattern, okay? Uh, and the second pattern is the one that actually is uh, proposed to deal with the, the lack of transactional isolation. Uh, they've defined, for instance, semantic locks, uh, which are uh, intermediate states, and you need to deal with these intermediate states when you use the second pattern. For that, you have, for, for instance, pivot transactions. There are transactions that actually define the point where uh, if you achieve the execution of this transaction, if the execution of this action succeeds, the, the, the functionality is going to uh, succeed. The execution of the functionality is not, is not gonna, going to roll back, but you may need to, 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 to compensate if something occurs before the, 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 the before transaction occur and the transactions afterwards are retriable transactions. So what, what they actually want to do in our work? Well, what we want to do, there are two research questions. First is, what set of operations can we provide to the architect such that the functionality can be redesigned by applying the saga pattern? So this is the first one. And the second one, if it is possible to redefine the complexity value associated with the monolith migration when there is additional information about the functionality redesign. Why? Because now we have our complexity metric that looks basically at the sequence of uh, accesses to the main entities in the decomposition. But if now I just redesign this operation, this functionality in terms of the saga pattern, I have different concepts. And so maybe uh, I can get some tuning in the complexity. So I can help the architect to provide him more concrete values about what sh should be the, the, the real complexity of migrating this functionality. 
To do that, what we work on top of a trace associated with the functionality. This trace was collected through the static analysis during the using our previous work. And um, we, we look at this trace and we analyze the, this, the several of these traces. We propose a set of uh, operations that allows me to uh, implement uh, a saga, implement the functionality uh, using a saga pattern. So you have a sequence change where, for instance, we just, uh, uh, in this case, for instance, we can define a coordinator of the saga that is going to be uh, a microservice that uh, uh, coordinates the, 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 the distributed transaction among uh, several uh, microservices and to do that we need to change the, the sequence of invocations. All these operations uh, uh, should preserve the, of course the, the, the semantics which means in, in our case should access the same domain entities to read and to write. Okay, then we have add compensating. Well, you, when you need to add compensating, and one very real relevant um, operation we identify is the find, find coarse grain interactions because of uh, object oriented uh, monoliths are implemented using object oriented fine grain local invocations. And actually, you realize that when two entities are become uh, are can become part into two different microservices we uh, if there is a lot of fine grade interactions between them the cost is going to be very high because you get a lot of local tra uh, uh, local transactions for each one of the remote invocation and we realize that probably you can define coarse grained invocations actually is a, a one of the patterns for distributed systems is to define a, a, a facade for remote invocations for instance and the final step is to assign a transaction type to 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 the to, to each one of the uh, local transactions we identified then well, what you do, realize is that okay you can with this with the, 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 these operations the architect can redefine is functionality, the functionality in different ways. For instance, on, on the top, you see a, using a coordinator. Here is more an orchestration. But these it will have different complexity costs. Because of that, we redefine the com our complexity, um, or not redefine, we define a new complexity metric or two complexity metrics that are built on top of the, are leveraged on the, our previous complexity metric. And what we have done, we define the functional re, uh, redesign complexity that they basically, I uh, measure the complexity of migrating this functionality and the system added complexity that my, uh, measures what is the impact of the migration of my functionality to the other functionalities, okay? For instance, when I write in my functional writing, I create intermediate states. Now all other functionalities that access this data may need to deal with these intermediate states and for instance, uh, implement compensating transactions if, if, if that is the case, okay? And um, we have evaluated these in the context of two systems. Uh, and um, so we, we, we identify a set of functionalities. We define the functionality in, in, into uh, quartile analysis for in terms of their complexity. We pick each one, uh, one for each group, and we, 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 we apply all operations manually to identify how, how far could you go on the, uh, on the um, uh, redesign of the, the functionalities. Okay. And uh, so the first thing we, we have done is just to verify that actually our work can leverage on our previous work and see that the, 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 the sum of our new, new, new two uh, metric uh, complexity metrics uh, can are equivalent to the previous one, okay? And we have done and it's okay, we verified out okay. So it's consistent to work on top of it. Then we then another evaluation where we count the number of type uh, uh, operations applied in the functionality redesign um, and what is the impact on the functional redesign on the migration complexity. And we analyze and see that actually you were able to tune these, okay? And mm -hmm. nothing, so we, ha we have here much lower, okay, it reduces the, the, the complexity after, after you redesign the functionality. Another thing that is interesting that to observe is that the number of um, operations, the, 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 the coarse grained uh, interaction is one of the most used, which means that uh, monoliths are implemented. Uh, so these very useful are implemented using uh, object oriented paradigm. Okay, and then we have done a, a small, a deeper um, analysis of the, 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 the variations on the complexity measures. And we see that 
it depends a little bit. So in, in the, 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 the percentage of reduction for each one of them varies with the, the, with, with the functionality. And another thing is that sometimes some, some functionality that uh, uh, as an initial higher value uh, have uh, uh, an, an higher redu reduction afterwards, okay? Uh, so finally, so to the conclusions we have, um, so what, what conclusion we, we, we have achieved with this work? So there's a, a set of operations for the redesign of monolith, fun, monolith functionality into the saga pattern in the context of the composition. Uh, two complexity metrics that measure the complexity, of the, uh, the complexity of redesign functionality and the evaluation of two monolith systems. So uh, we, 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 have we can conclude that this uh, defined coarse grain interaction is pr pretty relevant. All redesigned functions have, have lower complexity. Functionals that are initially more complex have more room for improvement. And the percentage of complexity reduction depends on the functional business logic. Just to finish, in terms of future work, we see that um, something that we realize is that these traces are very long, sometimes very complex traces. And uh, we think that will be helpful in terms of uh, future work that we have a recommendation tool so now that we have the operations and now that we have the metrics, you use these information to implement and define and implement a recommendation tool so that the, the, the recommend the architect what he needs to do instead of the architect look at each one of the traces, each one of the functionals and tries to apply the operations. Okay, thank you. We are open to questions.